Hi, this is Keyshawn and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be going over my son's cradle cap routine and also his eczema routine. This is my second time um, doing the cradle cap routine and this will be my first time using a breast milk bath for his eczema routine. So right now you could see the clips of the cradle cap that he has going on in his head and right now this is the eczema in his um, inner arms and I had it as a child. It's kind of hereditary. My husband had it as well. So let's get started. Um, I found this uh, cradle cap system on Amazon and it got a complete five out of five stars, not four out of five, not 4.5 out of stars, but a complete five out of five stars. Everyone was raving about it. So I decided to give it a try. Um, this is my little water thing that I use. This is the soap that I use by Herba, Herbaviva baby soap organic it's really good lathers very well of course his wash rag and I used the basin they gave me at the hospital so this is the system right here it starts off with a sponge that you use to lather in his scalp um, with the soap the shampoo then you use this soft bristle brush and um, kind of really work it in the scalp to try to loosen up the flakes. And then lastly, you use this comb which lifts up the flakes completely and you will see all this uh, later on in the video. And this is the system right there. So um, this particular day, I used coconut oil to loosen up, um, uh, actually not to loosen up I'm sorry to moisturize his scalp I read that this is good and you leave it on for 20 minutes before you wash their head um, yes so the coconut oil moisturizes the scalp and kind of penetrates um, what's going on the funky cradle cap and all that stuff and yes you leave it on for 20 minutes and then you wash it off with the shampoo um, this I did um, a couple of days ago before I recorded the breast milk bath, which you'll see in a second. So this is a different day and, um, I don't do the coconut oil and the breast milk bath on the same day. So this is breast milk and I used some oatmeal um, for the water. So I put some warm water in the basin. Then I add my breast milk and you want it to be enough where the water is a milky look where it has that white pasty look and just smooth it all around. So right here you can see I am kind of getting my son warmed up with the um, breast milk water, the breast milk and oatmeal water. It's nice and warm. You want to definitely make sure that you use a nice warm water. He still gets kind of nervous with baths so you can kind of see him a little skeptical like should I be comfortable with this or not? Then I start putting it on his hair. So I wanna start, you definitely wanna start off with the hair because you wanna leave the shampoo on their scalp while you're bathing them and let it penetrate and really get down the dandruff and try to provide some moisture to their scalp. So I put some warm water on him and then now I'm going to use my Cetaphil um, body wash and shampoo for his hair to start off. Now you can see me reach for the first step in the cradle cap system, and that is the soft sponge. So I just rub it in and rub it in and rub it in, and all the areas where the cradle cap is the worst, which is like the very front of his head, he has some on the side, and then he also has a little bit like right in the back middle of his head. So you see me getting all those points with the sponge and rubbing it in as good as I can.
Now that I have gotten the shampoo into his head, I have started with actually washing his body. I have put some more of the breast milk bath water on him and now I'm using the soap to just wash him up while the shampoo is getting into his scalp. Once again, you can see my son looks a little skeptical like, um, I don't know about this mom. Definitely gotta get those neck rolls. So right here, I am focusing the water on the parts where he has eczema, which is in his um, inner arms. So I'm just taking the water and just soaking it on there, getting the water on both of his arms. Later, you'll also see me putting it on his face because he also has some bumps on his face as well. I do wanna add a quick disclaimer that I am not a doctor or a nurse, but these are just home remedies that you can try until you are able to see your doctor. We are going to see his doctor um, in the next two days to discuss any other options, but I feel like this is a great natural way and it's doing a good job so far, but I did want to throw that out there. Now it is time for the second step in the cradle cap system, which is the soft bristle brush. At this point, this is when my son started to lose it. Um, you will see he tried to keep calm as bestly as he could for most of the video, but he really is not a huge fan of bath time, especially getting his hair washed and shampoo. And we have to do this every other day. We do the cradle cap system and the shampoo um, routine every other day, but we don't do the milk bath um, every other day. From what I read, you're supposed to do that maybe once a week to help with the eczema and the cradle cap. It's good for both. The breast milk bath is good for both. Um, and this, like I said, was our first time doing the breast milk bath, but this is our second time with the cradle cap system and so far so good. Um, you see me using the breast milk water to rinse off his scalp. This is also good for cradle cap, the breast milk water. He really was not enjoying this. Now that I'm looking back on this video, my heart is breaking, looking at my son um, having a mental breakdown, but this is what he needs. This is good for him. So this is the very last step in the cradle cap system and this is the comb. You can comb their hair dry or wet. As you can see, I like to do it wet because it really lifts up those flakes from the scalp. And I think it's um, easier on his scalp as well that his hair is still wet as opposed to lifting up the flakes dry, which I tried the first time and it doesn't get as many flakes. I try to be as soft and gentle as possible. I don't know if you can tell in this video, but I am being very gentle and it's still just lifting up the flakes. Um, it works really, really well. My poor baby y'all. But this is the last rinse that I do. I just try to get out any of the flakes that I have lifted up that didn't make it on the comb that's still kind of sitting in his hair. I use the last bit of breast milk water to get that out of his hair. So this is a skin shot um, of his face. Let me tell you, his face felt so much smoother and I'm also gonna show another um, clip of his scalp, but his face and his arms were so much smoother after this bre breast milk bath it was just a dramatic difference of course the eczema is still there but the skin was smoother and this is the lotion i use and i'm going to get him lotioned up he is still having a mental breakdown at this point he really wanted to breastfeed um but i wanted to of course moisturize him even more after this bath i'm learning that with eczema and dry skin period i have to moisturize him very frequently i was thinking at first like an adult like oh well if he doesn't bathe every day i don't have to moisturize him unless he bathes but no he needs to be moisturized every day even twice a day because his skin gets so dry
So while he is breastfeeding, I am just brushing his hair with a soft bristle, bristle brush that I have. And um, once again, getting out any loose flakes that I see. And this is the ending product. You can see the cradle cap has lifted dramatically. His scalp is moisturized. He shouldn't be scratching at it for the next two days. And I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Continue to like, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Mwah!